Hello class, let's learn science with Teacher Yas. Today, you will learn about the basic shapes. There are four basic shapes that you will learn in this topic. The first one is a triangular shape or triangle, a circle shape, a rectangular shape or rectangle, and the last one, an equal rectangular shape or square. Triangle, circle, rectangle, and square. Let's take a look at the properties of each basic shape. Triangle. Triangle has three sides. Has three corners and has a flat surface. Next, circle. Circle has curved lines. Rectangle. Rectangle has two opposite sides of equal length. Has four corners and has a flat surface. Square Square has four sides of equal length. Square has four corners and square has a flat surface. There are various objects around us that have similar shapes to the basic shapes that you have learned just now. Let's look at some examples of objects that have the shape of a rectangle. A television Briefcase Frame Book Shoes box And refrigerator These are examples of objects that have the shape of rectangle Objects that have the shape of a circle are Pizza Donut Compact disc or CD Plate Coin And a wall clock these are examples of objects that have the shape of a circle. And here are examples of objects that have the shape of a triangle. A piece of watermelon. Samosas. Traffic signboard and triangle ruler. These are examples of objects that have the shape of a triangle. And here are examples of objects that have the shape of a square. Chessboard. Checkboard, wall clock, slices of bread, and cream crackers biscuit. These are objects that have the shape of a square. To strengthen your understanding of basic shapes, you can carry out a game activity. 
Have you ever played Tangram? The Tangram is a dissection puzzle consisting of seven flat polygons which are put together to form shapes. The objective is to replicate a pattern using all seven pieces without overlap. You can draw or print your own Tangram and use it to produce various patterns according to your own creativity. Let's look at some examples of patterns that can be produced from Tangram. You can try this activity to challenge your creativity. That's all for today class. Thank you for watching and listening.